you guys have been seeing a new video blog with a new camera, new sound, all of that, but I'm keeping my old camera around for on the go video blogs. So mm -hmm. when I'm mm, fancy, right? So when <laughs> I, I yes, so when I'm uh, traveling and I'm meeting people, or I just think, you know, this could be fun, uh, you know, to, to talk about right now. This is kind of what happened. We just had dinner and uh, up at my parents' house, and I was like, you know what, Mom? You have not been on my video blog. Well, you've never thought of <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> no. So thanks. What a great opportunity. <laughs> You're so a welcome. Privilege. You're so <laughs> welcome. You're so welcome. Mom, people are so yes. curious about you. They see Dad all the time. Dad's mm -hmm. done some of these with me. Uh, they know so much about them, but they don't know a lot about you. So I think a lot of moms out there would just be curious. Okay, so I'm trying to teach my kids about money, because that's mm -hmm. obviously Dad and I wrote a book. Mm -hmm. Called Smart Money Smart Kids that came out sure, in April yes. and it was great. Very proud, so so proud of you. Okay, so, but as a mom, yes. When it came to us learning about money in the Ramsey household, what do you feel like? Like, what's your piece of advice for moms out there? Well, first of all, I think uh, you don't have to stress about what the child is going to be able to do or how they're going to do it or how much money they're going to earn. I think that's a good point because I think a lot of people take teaching their kids about money to an extreme, you know, and sure. it's like a little boot camp, but you're saying you relax. You it's need, okay. it has to be fun. Yes. If it's not going to be fun, it will not work. You have to use your imagination and you just mm -hmm. have to come up with great ideals on how to clean the playroom, how to make the bed, how to help with dishes and make it a game versus a job. Now us Ramsey kids, I know we were perfect. And we did every what? chore. You did. We did every chore we were ever supposed to do. <laughs> every as chore kids all the time. So we didn't, obviously. So would you say, you know, your kids turn out okay? You know, if they miss chores, because I probably what made my bed like never. <laughs> I never got paid on that. <laughs> but so so if your kids, you know, they're not doing chores, you want to be, you know, you want to have enough yes. rules and boundaries in place that they yes. learn to work. Sure, but. Sure, sure. We didn't do a chore. we didn't do chores every single week like we were supposed to all the time. Well, do you remember the chart that we had on the refrigerator? Yes. And I think on Sunday nights we would check that chart. We talked about this. And yes. oh, I forgot, or oh, I didn't have time, or oh, I was supposed to do that. <laughs> that was always the reaction. So the chart did work a lot, and it, it has does. great advantages, but there is a little bit of a downside. And that maybe, maybe that was my fault. Maybe I didn't push y'all enough to go and mark off the different chores that you were supposed to do. Well, I think so, it's good to show that, like, you know, even though they don't do a chore every single time, they still, you, you're raising kids to be great adults, as the ages would yes, say. So, yes. there, there's grace in all of this. So, I love that. Good. Straight from, straight from the expert's mouth right here, people. Oh, uh, well, thanks for being on. Oh, Rachel, it has been a privilege. Thank you for asking. I feel like she's never going to come back on to one of these again.